Hey everybody, okay, here we go. Ah, nice. Alright, the earth will die. The sun will die. It will be replaced with new energy. And a new sun will be born. Life will continue in a new way. I will die. And become new energy. And then become reborn. The people around me will die. And become new energy. And then become reborn. Nations will end. Empires will end. Whatever I create will not last. And in time, anything I create will die and dissolve. Anything a nation does or builds will not last. So caring about politics or what America's doing or what Trump's doing, whatever anybody's doing, it doesn't really matter because the nation will die and end anyways. So who cares? Just don't care. Because you're going to die anyways. Turn into new energy and be reborn. So are your children. So is everybody around you. And all nations come to an end. All empires end. So give up caring about politics. Live in the present moment. It's, it's really not important. All that politics stuff. What other people do. How they behave. Pretty much tolerate everything. Tolerate everything. Don't care about how people act, what they do. Just tolerate everything. And be at peace and know that this is the present moment. You're going to die and be reborn. So whatever actions or whatever happens to you, doesn't really matter. Whatever happens or whatever actions happen to other people, animals, doesn't really matter. Because they're all going to die, turn into new energy and be reborn. So nothing really matters at all. Everything will dissolve, die, turn into new energy, and be reborn. <clears throat> a nation does not... Oh, anything a nation does or builds won't last, so stop caring about politics and what your nation is doing, or what America is doing, what treaties or bills are being signed, and what's being passed, what's not, or how you're being affected. Try to live simply. Try to live without caring about money, finances, and all that other stuff. Be minimal. Give up, you know, ownership of things. Don't care about what you're getting or what you're not getting. Be more minimal. Try to do with less things, less money. Focus on love, living in the present moment, being kind to others, and not holding on to things. Everything will die and dissolve and be reborn. Therefore, nothing that is created in this life, or valued in this life, is important, because it will die and dissolve. Nothing is important and nothing is valuable. There is no need to hold on to anything. There is no need to desire. There is no reason to even think. Everything will die. Let go. Let go of wanting to be liked. Let go of wanting to be accepted. Let go of wanting to be significant. Let go of wanting to be happy. It is just the present moment. Everything will end anyways. Everything will end and die and be reborn. So appreciate everything while it is still here. Does it really matter how people act or behave? No. Because they're just going to die and be reborn anyways. It doesn't matter how anybody acts or how anybody behaves. You must be still, tolerate everything, and just live in the present. If somebody in front of you gets hit, they're either going to learn from that, they're going to leave the person that hit them, or they're going to keep coming back to being abused. But it's their choice to stay in their situation. You can't give anybody any long-lasting happiness, and you can't make anybody's decision for them. You could guide them. You know, you should leave this person or you should do something else with your life, but you don't have the power to enter their mind and their body and, and, and make the decision for them. You don't have the powers to give anybody long-lasting happiness. It's not your job, it's their job. And it's their job to make a decision to either leave an unhealthy, negative 
uh, abusive person or stay with them. Or stay in any abusive or negative environment. <clears throat> do not do anything for an outcome. Do not be more spiritual to get to nirvana or enlightenment. Do not behave a certain way to get to a higher place or to get to heaven. Even though heaven is within you and you can find heaven on earth, which is in the New Testament. Do not want to be more spiritual. Do not be a certain way to gain anything. Give up gaining. Give up the concept of attaining more. Give up desiring. What are you desiring for? To reach happiness? Wanting to attain happiness only leads to suffering. Why do you even do most things? To be worshipped? To feel significant? To get love from other people? To impress other people? Or to feel, maybe you do it to feel good about yourself, or to feel good. There's no need for such things, and desiring these things only leads to wanting more, wanting more, and more, and more. It also leads to never feeling satisfied. You're always like chasing and, 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 and you know, looking for the next thing, and you okay I look good now but I, I want I, I need to get better and I need to get better and I need to get better and you're never satisfied you're never satisfied and it also leads to suffering I've lived and died a thousand times and I will live and die and be reborn a thousand times it does not matter what I do in this life and anything I do in this life will be forgotten and be erased in time. I've also forgotten everything I've ever done in any of my past lives. So anything I do or create or accomplish in this life will be forgotten and will not be remembered and I will not remember it in my next life. So why is this life and what I create or accomplish in this life so important? It isn't. And that is just it. I am not significant. I can be kind to others, to everyone around me, walking the earth, not labeling anyone, not judging anyone, as I always live in the present moment. And that is all that is needed. And that is the only thing that is important. Be still, to be kind to everyone around you, to not label people, to not judge people, to tolerate everything, to accept everything, to have no expectations, and to just be still. And when you feel like creating something, like doing a painting, or taking a walk and singing, or making something for somebody, because you just feel like, you know, they would appreciate that, and that would be nice to do for people. You know, do things like that. That's creating, creating something. But creating it because, like, you feel this need, this thing that you just need to create it. Not creating it because of ego, like you want to feel important, or you want to feel significant, or you want to impress others. That's ego. That's creating things for ego. I'm talking about creating things because, like, you just like have this inner feeling that you should create something. You know? <clears throat> it does not matter what I do in this life, as long as I, I am kind to others, I will be still and also create in the process. But there is no need for achievements. There is no need for wanting to feel significant, there's no reason to uh, have accomplishments. There is no reason to want the me to feel accepted by others or to attain things or materialistic things. There is no need to desire or want more. <clears throat> There's no reason to be affected by things. There's no reason to be affected by things at all. Everything will die, become new energy, and be reborn into a new form. 
So, because everything will die and be reborn, but everything that is on this planet, myself included, and everybody around me, nature, animals, I will appreciate everything while it is in front of me. Wrote that on December 4th, 2017. Uh, anyways, uh, and, and an interesting thing happened. I became like very like zen-like when I was writing that. And then, um, and then I saw my two friends, Ronnie and Karen, and I became like very happy. And I said something to them, and they were joyful, and I was joyful, and I walked on. And then I started seeing the death of things. Like I looked at a, the first the first thing I saw it was it was um, a vulture flying overhead, and I saw it the process as a, 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 like the process of the, the vulture dying. And like how it was just gonna die, and like there was a kind of like a strange, interesting, not a beauty to it, and then but just this feeling to it, like that you know it was alive now, but it was soon gonna be die, dead. And then uh, I saw like a tree, and I thought the same thing about the tree, even though it was probably gonna live longer than I was, if a human didn't tear it down. And then I saw a house, and then I, you know, saw it, you know, through a nuclear kind of thing, or, um, you know, the death of the house, and how the house was either going to be black, or it wasn't going to be there anymore, or it was going to be falling down. So everything had death to it, like it was going to die. And it was a very spiritual experience, and it was very interesting, too. Here we go. Do not want happiness and do not ask for love from others. I am here to be still, create, and be kind. I am not here to desire happiness, ask for love, and desire more. I am still. I am love. I am connected to everyone. I am creation. Here we go. Laugh and have fun. Don't forget to be a nice person. Switch in being cool for being nice. Remember have balance and also balance of the mind. Today I am removing my ego so I am not obsessing about myself or what I am getting or what I am not getting. Today I love myself just for being born. I do not have to do anything to love myself or accomplish anything to love myself. Today I am love. I am not competition. I am not conceited. Today I am forgetting my history, my story, my personal history, and who I am. I am the present, and I am connected to everything. I am doing everything to dissolve who I am, not to enhance who I am. I am not trying to be anyone's favorite. I live to love, I do not live to get attention, and I do not live to be significant. Every day is not going to go perfect, and I am not going to be perfect every day. Dissolve and be as the tree. Just be. Just be as the earth and the baby in the womb. Be as enlightened and free as the baby in the womb. Anyways. I guess. Hope you're having fun. Do something that you love. Oh, and I would also be very happy uh, with being homeless. I find uh, happiness in homelessness. I could find happiness in dying because I'm not really going to die. I'm just going to be reborn into something else through new energy so yeah everything's great man and be kind to people around you and don't label or judge peace